What's your full name? Angela Kalo. So about three years ago, my dog, um, Ellie, who he called Miss Ells, started panting very heavily, wouldn't stop. And so I put some video on Facebook sort of saying, is this normal? Have it had this happen to a dog before? And got a lot of responses that basically said, get her to the vet right now. It could be a heart issue or something really serious. So I followed Bandit's Band-Aids on Facebook because most Corgi people know who they are. They help people who are experiencing hardship financially due to extenuating vet bills. And so I took her to the vet and um, while I was there, you know, pretty much in a panic, Bandit's reached out to me to see if they could help me fundraise to pay for the vet bill because it was an emergency vet visit and they knew it would be expensive. And I had a lot of friends reaching out that wanted to help but didn't have any way to organize help. They you know, helped me get people organized and contributed to Ellie's vet care. And they also negotiated with the vet to reduce rates and to make sure that she was getting the highest quality care possible. Um, on top of that, they were wonderful about actually staying in touch with me and sort of talking me off the ledge because I was a, a mess. Unfortunately, Ellie passed away the next morning. And when she passed away, they arranged with my vet to stay open longer so I could have some time with her before they took her. Um, and it was a pretty traumatic experience, and so I was very grateful for them doing all of that to make the, the transition easier. But I think Bandit's Band-Aids takes it to the next level because it's a personal experience when you're dealing with them. They were very supportive of me, um, checking on me, texting me, emailing me just to make sure I was okay. I think that's what makes Bandit special. Um, I mean, they're a great organization if they did nothing but gather funds and disseminate those funds to people in need. But what makes them special is the personal touch. They really care about your dog. But they really care about what happens to you and you know the effect that a sick animal has on your entire family. You know, not just from a financial perspective, but from a personal perspective, from an emotional perspective. And I think that because they have that personal touch, they're able to much better um, serve their clients and the people that, that come to them for help. I mean, obviously a financial impact because you know there's gonna be a ton of money raised at the actual event. But I see the impact going much farther than a day because Bandits is an ongoing fundraising need. And so I can see Bandits, first of all, more people following them because they learn about them and learn about what they do. Secondly, more people contributing to future fundraisers that we don't even know about right now because they have seen them and have seen that the North Carolina Corgi Field Day endorses them. I think that it lends a certain air of validity for an event that you've been part of for so many years to choose a group as their designated charity. It says, this is a group we trust. This is a group we believe in. This is a group that's doing good work. So I see the effect going far beyond the one day of fundraising that, that this is.